Welcome back to the Mobcast, episode four. I wasn't ready for it to start. Yeah, so episode four. Episode four. And you guys can finally see us. Hey. It's a big episode. It's a big episode. We'll see how it goes. I mean, we probably got the <laughs> camera angle all fucked up and we probably look too small. We're literally, I'm looking at the camera right now. We're half of the camera, but uh, let's do it. Gotta start somewhere. Cheers. Episode four. Some whiskey that tastes like shit. Bro, I fuck with the shot glass that you guys just got me from Croatia. Oh, yeah. It's got a little handle on it. It's so cute. It's got a little handle. Uh, it's like a beer mug. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's like a baby little beer mug. So, um, didn't post last week because I was in Croatia on a little trip with my mom, my dad, and my girlfriend, Alyssa. Well, we did record it. <laughs> We did record two episodes before you left, and we recorded three, episode three, and then four was supposed to come out, mm -hmm. but my dumb ass. I don't know if I don't know where it went. Like, I went home to record, or uh, edit it, and it was gone. Not on my computer. Sorry, Truman. Sorry, Dylan. <laughs> Sorry. We had two guests, Dylan and Truman. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we'll have him back on at some point. Right, I'm just we'll, sorry, because we'll, I was, we felt like that was a good episode, and I'm sorry that you guys are missing out on it, if you guys are listening, but uh, we'll have them two back. Right now, Trim is in California, and Dylan is, you know, Dylan's being Dylan, Dylan's just chilling, hanging out. Yeah. Um, but yeah. uh, we figured, you know, let's get this show on the road, try and get some pumped out this week, now that I'm back, and we missed a week of of podcasting. Yeah. How was uh, Croatia, though? It was cool. Um I was in Croatia for 10 days, so we, we traveled around the whole country. It's pretty small. It's not it's not very big. Um, if I'd have to guess, it's maybe the size of, like, Arizona and Utah, I'd guess. You know, so we drove around the whole country. Um, yeah, drove, you guys just drove packed down a the coast backpack, then, didn't you guys? Just, like, pack a big-ass backpack? Yeah, just, just a backpack full <laughs> of clothes and traveled down the coast, um... Hit a bunch of different cities and kind of just hung out. It, it was really cool. One, one spot, like a, a big name spot, was where Game of Thrones was filmed. Um, it's actually where I got your, your shot glass from, wherever that went. Oh, or, really? Wait, yeah. Wait, what? I can't even fucking say this. Uh, Dubrovnik. Yeah, that's so that's like Dubrovnik. where. That's a big, huge scene, um, multiple scenes in Game, in Game of, of Thrones. Thrones. So, yeah. So, Dubrovnik was like a big, huge, huge place that played along in that. Um, but yeah, it was a really fun trip, really cool. I, I've I've always, you know, been super interested in Europe ever since I've I've only been there one other time is to Italy on my senior trip. So going back there to Croatia was just super, super cool. It looked like a dope place. It was very pretty. Um we went in the off season so not everything was open and it wasn't like at its full, you know, tourism attraction, whatever you wanna yeah. call it. But it was cool to see the city, like how it was always meant to be if yeah. that makes sense like all all the uh old architecture that's like hundreds and hundreds of year old years old and you really have it all to yourself we really just had it all to ourselves we tri we went through museums by ourselves uh, we were able to go through little alleyways and little streets and city centers just by ourselves you know like no one was there to bother us or kind of ruin the moment it was just me my mom my dad and Alyssa. we were just kind of some of those videos were pretty so pretty, pretty dope it's a really cool place, and it like kind of makes me really want to travel <laughs> with the boys and and all, like our whole friend group and go out and yeah. just travel internationally at least once. See, we, see if we like it because it's a whole different ball game than going to like a Florida or a California. You know, chill at the beach every day. You really like see a lot of cool stuff. Um, I mean, whether it's it's going to the old, you know, their their old town that's hundreds of years yeah. old, or going on these huge hills to. Think about it, like our friend group. It's such a pain in the ass to plan anything, and then no one can agree on shit. It's like kind of what's going on right now. Yeah, like we're trying to plan our California trip to go in August. No one can plan. Like we can't set. Dude, the shitty thing about California is yes, it's cheap to get there, but oh my god, the Airbnbs are so fucking. It, it, it's hard to, like, justify it because I'm like... But the thing is, is, if you think if you go to Mexico for a week for all-inclusive resort plane ticket, it's like $500 maybe. don't know exactly. And then the all-inclusive resort to stay in for a whole week, 
is about the same price as staying in a house. It's, I don't know, bro. I, it is. It's like it's about the same price. It's really the it's really the house that's killing me. Um, tickets to to fly to California aren't expensive. It's just the Airbnb that's really kind of ringing, throwing me around. It's like, oh my god, is it gonna be worth it? Fuck it. It's always worth it. What are you talking about? It will be worth it, but it's just it's expensive. It is. Um, it was expensive. <clears throat> kind of to jump back when I was off in Croatia. I had Tommy yeah. um, house sit me. Yeah. House sit my and Alyssa's house. This is going to be some news for you guys. And I heard some rumors <laughs> about some shit going down. And I'd love to, yeah. love to get the cat out of the bag here. So I uh, was house sitting their house for... It was only... It wasn't the whole time you guys were gone. Because my some family came in town. And I was wanting to spend time with them. So... But... When you guys left for like five days, I was watching the house, mm -hmm. and of course, like any teenage kid, like well, it's like I just had our friends come over, really, um, a couple of our buddies come over, and they knew that you guys knew that I was gonna. We were cool with that. Yeah. Like yeah. Okay. Dylan, Ethan. You know. We yeah. Throw that names. Yeah. <laughs> we're like yeah. We trust those guys. We know those guys. We're comfortable. We're yeah. cool with them. And that's all who I had over. Um, but then one night. Ethan invited, he got like stuck in a pretty shitty situation with this one girl. And so he had to go pick her up in Orem, which is 40 minutes from here, 45 minutes from here. And so, and this was like two in the morning. And so at least two in the morning here in Utah, but it was like, er, it was me like, and Alyssa are currently in Paris right now. We had just landed in Paris. It was, so if it was two in the morning in Utah, it was eight. No, it was 10 in the morning in Paris. It was yeah. 10 a.m. in Paris. Yeah, so you guys were just kind of like getting your day started. Well, we had just landed. We had just landed in Paris. So, first of all, we had a nine, no, 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 a, like a 10 hour flight, 10, 11 hour flight from Dallas to Paris. Um, before the flight, I had a few drinks. I got, you know, <laughs> maybe a little too much to drink, and I was like, I was zoinked on the flight. Uh, I was calling you a bitch because you had free drinks before, like, your flight to Paris. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. Dude, take advantage of that shit. We, and you did. You got drunk. Well, this has got perks to this lounge, and um, I was able to get free drinks. So I was going back and forth, you know, to get drinks for me and Alyssa. And, um, you know, I had gotten a few drinks, and I said, Alyssa, what do you want? She said, I have a margarita. I go and get her a margarita. I come back. And she's like... No, I don't think I can drink the margarita. And this at this point, I was pretty drunk. I was like, <laughs> Fuck, I can't drink your whole drink for you, Alyssa. Like, I'm going to be so, so out of it for this flight. I, I mean, I might feel sick. Turns up, landed in Paris. I was so gosh damn hungover. We could not. It's not like American airports where there's food after every, you know, every store they got food there. Paris, not the same, bro. They got, they got their fragrance stores. They got their alcoholic stores. <laughs> they got their... Louis Vuittons. Hey, that's the best way to cure hangovers. No, I was, dude, I, it was like, I couldn't look at it. I wanted food, dude. We were so hungry. We had a 10-hour layover. Yeah. I was asleep for pretty much the whole flight. So I missed both breakfast and, uh, no, 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 lunch and dinner, dude. I missed both meals. I didn't get to eat on the plane. So I landed, I was starving. Wanted to eat. I was, I was hungover. I wasn't, like, in the greatest mood. And then... The big bad news, a girl shows up to our house and, you know, Alyssa oh, yeah. is not very happy with that. So she's like, you got to tell him to make them to leave. And I, I was in the state of mind where, like, you just didn't give I a don't fuck. give a fuck what's going on at the house. I feel like shit. I want food. I don't care what they're doing. I trust them to do whatever they're doing. And Alyssa Ooh, wasn't having it. Alyssa was not having <laughs> it. So she got mad at me. So on top of being hungover and... And being just so tired, jet lagged. I'm in a different country. I was, I was uh, indifferent with my girlfriend. She was not <laughs> happy with me because my friends decided to bring over a girl. Well, okay. Well, Ethan kind of just got stuck in a, a pretty shitty situation where he, this girl and her friend, got sh like stranded at a party. So he went and picked her up, picked them up. What are you doing? <laughs> Saying hello. Right, but, but anyways, they uh, they went to go pick up these two girls. He went down to Orem, picked them up from a party, and then he was dropping off 
an, uh, one of the girls at a different party and she apparently was a complete bitch to him like the which one the the one that he didn't bring over the one that he was gonna drop off and she was being such an asshole to him apparently i don't know what about but he was like ready to fucking just leave this bitch yeah. sorry for my language but she he said i'm gonna leave this bitch what did what did she do to her? Was she, just she like, was just saying like she was just, i don't know like being like she was like of- oh you're the infamous ethan you don't seem like anything special and like shit like that kind of just being an asshole the, who the fuck calls either elliot the infamous ethan when is he ever I don't know. <laughs> is he known as infamous ethan i don't know damn i've never fucking called him that shit he's Fucking pussy. <laughs> Infamous Ethan. What yeah. the fuck? But, yeah, fuck you, Ethan. Um, but he took, he brought the other one back because she was kind of just like already pretty, she was pretty fucked up. She was drunk. She brought him back to our house. Yeah. My house. Because um, she kind of lives over in this area as well. And she brought him back over here because she didn't want to go home. And then, um, then the part, because we only thought you guys had cameras in the front of your house, not on your garage. Yep. So he parked up, like, literally on the ass of my car, so close to it. To oh, like you a, guys, yeah, so you guys were trying to hide it? Yeah, we were trying to fucking hide it. Because yeah. we knew Alyssa was going to get pissed. <laughs> we knew she's going to get Yeah, so I, knew, I didn't give a rest. Look, look, look. And then, dude, it was, like, fucking minutes. Like, they <laughs> I know. In, and also, I got a text from her. I was like kind of like trying to sleep. I was like half a half awake, half asleep, and everything. And Dylan was next to me. I heard the text message. I was like, "Fuck!" I de- I already knew it was Alyssa. I looked at it, <laughs> said Alyssa. I was like, <laughs> what did fuck. she say? What did she say? Get that bitch out of me! No, get that fucking bitch out of my house right now. All she Tommy. said was Tommy in all caps with a bunch of exclamation Oh, exclamation that's he. That I was like, geez. oh. I was like, shit. So she knows. So I like got up. She knows. It took, like, I didn't answer right away. And I was like, I, I said, what? And then she responded Played up fucking so fast, dude. And I was like, I knew that she was coming over. But at the same time, I was like, I was like, just stay in the basement. I was like, I was like, stay in the basement and have her sleep in the basement. Nothing upstairs or anything like that. Just, just <laughs> keep that shit downstairs. downstairs. <laughs> yeah. Keep that shit downstairs. Yeah. But then she started coming up to like where the spare bedroom was, where oh I was God. sleeping. She's creeping, and she's she lurking. S- she tripped upstairs and almost like broke her face and her teeth on the door well into the spare bedroom where we're sleeping. Can you give us a picture? What do you mean by that? She fucking tripped. So we're. Stairs? Yeah, so she was, like, walking upstairs, and you know when you trip on, like, the top stair, you kind of, like, stumble? Uh-huh. And she was drunk, oh. and she stumbled a little bit she further than normal, and her <laughs> face almost literally went into, like, the side of the door, and pretty much the wall. That would have been pretty cool to would've... come back to just a bloody stand on my door, <laughs> on my door, just, like, fucking, huh. Yeah. That's pretty... It wasn't me. I don't know what the fuck happened here. <laughs> pretty but cool. But no, she, she, she caught herself, and then I was like... <laughs> I was like, just go downstairs, lay the fuck down, and stay down there. I was like, just stay down there. Mm-hmm. And Ethan came down. Well, because she slept down here, right? Yeah, they slept down here. Ethan came they? down. No, okay. They? Ethan just came down, got the business done. The business? Huh? Everyone everyone knows what business means. He, he, had, sex, he had sex down here? Yeah. Yeah, he did. <clears throat> he had sex down here, and then... Okay, he Ethan! And then he went, telling me, Ethan! Honestly... I don't know if he went back up into the other spare bedroom and slept or if he slept down here because I fell asleep. But these walls and ceilings are very sound, not soundproof. Like, we heard most of it. Plus the vents are connected. Well, there, there is nothing <laughs> up there. there is, it's just floorboards. There's no insulation. There's no drywall. Yeah, we, we heard me and Dylan <sighs> laughing. And we, like, heard him, like, from the start. Is this it couch didn't... clean? I-, I did clean it. I wiped it off. Okay. I didn't see anything, but Thank I did you. wipe it off because I was... That's why we asked you to house it. You clean my couch, bro. Because I know what the fuck is up. I th- And plus, I was, like, when I came here after work and everything, I came down here, 
had some drinks and watched some movies. I didn't want to fucking lay in it. That sound okay. Now nah, I'm not like I was on my you know I was on my little excursion in Croatia you know doing my thing. But you were living the life over here, dude. No, I was not. Go to your nine to five, come home, grab some beers out of the fucking fridge, and just watch TV. Yeah, you were was. living a man's dream. It right was. There. Yeah, I still had to pay for the beers. You yeah, you provide it. I don't. <laughs> I, I, dude, before I even got here, I literally stocked up in like sixty beers. Yeah, I saw. Three of them were left. Plus oh, the well, margarita. I turned twenty one, like a day or two before I left. Mm-hmm. So there wasn't really much time. I did buy liquor. I did buy rum. But there yeah. wasn't time for me to like go fucking buy beers for me to just sip on. So of course I was I got my fanas. I got my Dr. Peppers. <laughs> I got my Sprites. I, I had a- So you could live with those. No. I no. got some beers. But I was. I was living the life. I got lonely. Straight up. I got pretty lonely. Do you think like living alone would be so much fun? Which it was. It was nice just coming home, no one around, walk around naked. <laughs> oh, God, dude. That, no, no cap, dude. I, I walk around naked. I'm like, fuck it. Man. Yeah, dude. Hey, it's nice. Here I am once again. But then I'll be like laying down here. And be like, fuck, there's no one around, dude. I'm bored. Like, I feel like I know the house is empty. It's like, I'm bored. I want to hang out with someone. Well, what do you do at your house? I had, like, hang out with my family or something. I guess, I guess. But I was like, so some of my friends would come over and everything, but, sorry. <laughs> but I tried to bring uh, some some bitches over here, but I didn't even want to risk it. Because I, I, I knew, yeah, I knew fucking Satan would see it. And see it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> not Satan, bro. Well, Are you kidding me? Okay, I'll use a different word because I usually Please. Say it's not Satan. Satan's That's not my person. girlfriend you're talking about, <laughs> brother. Okay, well, I usually say jokingly Hitler because <laughs> she's super clean that. about everything, as you've heard of last episode. Yeah. But I, I, I think it's funny. Like, I, I do respect it because I'm usually a clean person as well. Like, I like to keep everything clean. And I understand you like, spend a lot of money on a house and everything, especially in this market nowadays. Oh, um, my God. And you're like, well, you want to keep it nice. I just think it's so funny. Dude, and it's today, funny to call her Hitler because she gets upset about it. You know it. what I did today? I spent maybe an hour or two wiping up the mist and water that she would uh, that she would steam onto the fucking floor. Because we had some paint stains on our like laminate wood flooring. So she'd steam it off and I would follow her, dude. <laughs> fucking wiping <laughs> it up with my paper towel. Was that the dude, video wipe that it up you all the water. earlier on the stairs? Yeah, dude. It, okay, it transferred from the basement. Dude, it, the paint was all over the basement. Because I just recently painted the walls. <sighs> it was all over the basement floors. This black and then even some white paint from, from when oh, yeah, we painted the upstairs. upstairs. And then she's like, let's move to the stairs. I don't blame her and I understand. But I felt, like, so weird. I was just like, Katie, you, you might be wiping up the water with paper towels. <laughs> with it paper towels? Smell. Yes, paper towels. How many fucking paper towels did you use? A full roll. <laughs> that, no, I'm not even joking. I, I went through a full roll of paper towels. That's kind of, like, it's, like, when I'm working with my dad, you, like, you get something done, and you're like, oh, hell yeah, I got, I'm done with the day, I'm chilled. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. then I'm like, nope, let's do this now. You're like, the fuck? I just... I kind of have that same problem where it's almost, you have a, it's almost like you have a plan in your mind. Like yeah. you're like, okay, so after this, okay, after I do the laundry, this is just hypothetical. After I do the laundry, I'm free for the day. But then it's like, oh no, actually you got to, uh, fucking clean the chimney. You know, that's, that's a weird example, but <laughs> yeah, it's like, well, Jesus Christ, I wasn't thinking about cleaning that. Now that's going to take me a few hours to do yeah. now. That's like. Almost it like throws off the rest of your schedule. I I had the same problem, and I gotta like it's a habit I have to break of like not like predetermining what yeah what shit's gonna happen. We fucking sound like idiots right now. We we don't know shit about fuck, so <laughs> I don't know why we're like uh, lecturing this shit. But um, hey, all I gotta say though, what the fuck are we drinking right now, dude? Look at this shit. We're drinking smart off ice. Looking like a bunch of bitches. After my, I just had a whiskey sour. Now I gotta go over to this. Let's point out that I bought these just because I wanted to ice some friends. Which, by the way, I fucking ice Spencer. Oh, yeah. Dude, okay, so 
This is kind of oh, oh, actually, this might be... In Croatia, I went to my first bar. So I turned 21 only two days before I went to Croatia. I went to my first bar um, in Croatia. Yeah. Which was kind of... I And I didn't really have anything to base it off, but it was pretty cool. Like, they were really... I you know, well, all the first bar... Nice. I think it was the first bar you went to was, like, on the beach side? Uh, well, I mean, I, you could call it the beach side. It was in Dubrovnik. Yeah. It's not really a beach side. It's on the well, like you took a it's video. on the shore. Okay, on the shore. It's on the seaside, brother. Yeah, but it was yeah. cool. It was like this little sports, almost like a sports bar. It was really chill. We just got like a couple of drinks and a, and, and a beer, and uh, we went the night after to actually like a really chill bar. Just like it was like a restaurant, um, but they had a separate section for their bar, like whole separate entrance, whole separate like room for their bar that we went into. Um, which I'm was, which was really cool. It was like a really cool vibe. It's like, uh, just like, a well, like a party vibe, like a bump in like music yeah. and shit. It was just like a chill, enjoy your drink type, uh -huh. type of thing, which was really fun. But sometimes those bars are nice. Those, I those experienced are like, I, my I first like... bar in America though, last night with uh -huh. you, Dylan and Spencer at the break. Oh yeah. No, uh, daybreak. In, in daybreak, I think that's a great place because I've heard a lot of good things about the break. It was it was actually really that was the first time I've been there. Well, really? I me Ethan and I think one of our other friends Andrew, um, we went there. Andrew? No, it wasn't Andrew. Andrew, I, if you're well, listening, bro, come to the break with us, bro. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? But it was come like, to the break with us, Andrew. It was like sophomore year of high school. But we weren't supposed to be in there. We went after school, because it's 21 and up. Of course, it's a bar <laughs> slash, like, restaurant. Day. Well, we went in there, and they're like, are you guys 21? We're like, oh, no. We were told that it's, like, a restaurant. Like, if we're sitting at the bar, then we have to be at 21. But if we're just sitting in, like, yeah. the dining area, we didn't have to. They're like, oh, no. It's a strictly 21 and up. And yeah. we're like, oh, shoot. Sorry. We didn't Way know that. food, by the way. Yeah, because we went there because someone told us about the mac and cheese. And we're like, fuck, oh. dude. We wanted the mac and cheese. So we went there. Oh. And the the waitress or the, and the bartenders were like. <laughs> it is so good, dude. I fucking. Oh. It was so good. And that's why we went there. Cause oh. Like, Ethan like was telling us about it. So we went there in like sophomore year. Oh. We just barely got our licenses and everything. And they're like, okay. We are okay with you sitting at the dining table until, like, you get your food to go. And for now, if anyone asks, this random guy at the bar that was sitting there was like, if anyone asks, this is your dad. What? So, right. Like, okay. Right. <laughs> That's not seem right. <laughs> Hello, dad. <laughs> That's what He's, like, fucking like, 30 years old. He's like, what? Dude, we're like, all right. Well, fuck it. We just want the mac and cheese and we'll go. And oh so we just, like, God. we're kind of messing around with him. We're, like, talking to the dude. He's like, hey, Dad. What's up? Kind of talked to him for a minute. But then, like, we got our mac and cheese and went. And that was the last time we went there. Kind of. And then last night, we went to the bar, or the break. Dude, that mac and cheese is still Oh, my so God, dude. I did the good. buffalo mac and cheese. Oh, my God. I'm a sucker for, look, I'm not, I'm not big into spicy foods, but... I'll do a mild sauce here and there, you know. I'll do a mild buffalo, and yeah. oh my god, their chicken! It like it was like real, dude. Their steak was because I had it was called a Tuscan, which was it was like a white cheddar mac and cheese with steak on it and like a light drizzle of balsamic vinegar. <laughs> I went. It was like balsamic dressing. Damn, get fancy, it son. It was so good though. Get fancy, bro. Balsamic and some. Uh, it was a fuck. It was the vinegar, most expensive some one. Some <laughs> sauce. Getting fancy. <laughs> Fucking <dude>. ass. <laughs> I just, it was the most expensive one on the menu. But then we got a bunch of. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you're getting okay, look, they they got like their classic. We're getting a little off topic, but fucking go with the Buffalo Mac, dude. Yeah, look, yeah. But the Buffalo The thing is, is, I'm not a biggest fan of Buffalo sauce. If you're not a fan of Buffalo sauce, I guess you get the Tuscany or just but, get their, no, I the do, Break Mac, which is just like a four cheese. But it was good. I don't, because that was the one that we had the first time. And I was like, I want to try it again. It was so good. I don't know. So, but then we asked the waitress. 
Wait, was there yeah. any protein in there? Was there any meat in there? Yeah, it was, a, it was red meat. It was steak. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I that was my second option, actually. Yeah, because it was, it was steak, like a white cheddar mac and cheese with a light drizzle of balsamic vinegar and uh, blue cheese on it. I don't like blue cheese, so I got rid of that, but so fucking good. Okay. So that bring okay, that actually just just a quick little side note. So you'll drink beer, you know, which is a very acquired taste beer. The first time you drink it, mm. yeah, no, but you I know, you like you, you, you get a routine. Like, okay, this shit's pretty good. You don't like blue cheese. You like beer, but you don't like blue cheese. What the fuck is that? Like what what reference blue cheese? is that? I don't. Blue cheese is rotten, dude. No, it's just aged cheese, my guy. I know it is, but it's, it looks rotten and it smells rotten. And it's disgusting. I don't like it. No. Okay. Okay. Let's go to Google. Blue yeah, cheese blue is cheese. a semi-soft cheese made with cultures of mold penicillin. Look at the fucking mold on it. Fuck that. It is not mold. Mold um, penicillin. Where the fuck you just read? <laughs> Maybe it is mold, but it's <laughs> fucking a, an acquired taste. So I'm confused how you'll drink fermented water, but you won't it's eat. It's not fermented, fermented water. Cheese. You tarred. What is alcohol? What is beer then, dude? It's wheat. Fermented it's wheat. It's aged fermented wheat. What did I say? You said fermented water. It's pretty much... I'm just, I'm just boiling it down to the most simplest thing. That's what it is. Pretty Bro. much fermented wheat water. And you don't like blue cheese. I don't... I don't... I don't, I don't do you like blue cheese? I mean, I'll do it on my <laughs> buffalo mac and cheese from the break. Okay, well, it was a simple thing that I could have got rid of. My it was goodness, just it's something that's like kind of just sprinkled on top. I was like, I'm not. It's sprinkled. It ain't even the main cheese. Got some hair. I don't give a fuck about it. That's how I like it. Yo, okay, brother. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I <laughs> I did want to talk about this. Okay. E girls. Okay, so this. this oh is, wait, 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 wait. Can I tell you about how? Well, tell me explain about how Spencer. Oh, we got to go. Yes. Okay. Right. We'll, we'll get better. I don't know what the fuck you're about to get. Fucking okay. Spencer. The, the night did t- take a twist. I didn't know who was. I, I thought Dylan would get a beer or two. You know, I I figured. Well, know, we all got a lot of drinks. Okay. But but, but going into it, I didn't Spencer think anybody is, was going to drink like Spencer. Well, okay. We all had about the same amount of drinks because he only had the three drinks. But he's a lightweight. Like, he does not... Spencer is a kid that does not drink in our friend group. He will drink occasionally, and that's, like, rarely... It's like a blue moon event. Yeah, like, and that's why I didn't expect him to drink yeah. on a random Friday night going to the break. <laughs> I did not expect him but he, to do this. And so he was... He asked the bartender what her favorite drink was, and she said... Either the face plant, which is what me and you had, or I don't even know what this other <laughs> drink was called. So no, but she, she said, was like, she if said, I'm quote, trying to get f- messes you up. She, well, no, quote unquote, if I'm trying to get fucked up, I would do this drink. Did I don't know what it was up? called. Yeah, Dang. she and I was like, I don't, I didn't hear what she said. All I heard was like, if I'm trying to get fucked up, it's this drink. And then she was like, but if not, if I'm just trying to like enjoy and sip on a drink. I did the face plant, which is like four different liquors. Which is what you like and I did. Orange juice in it, which was yeah, which was really good. It was tasty. Um, and so he was like, "I'll do the first one you said." And then he, she brought it over, and she was like, "The only way it works is if you chug this drink." Dude, she's and, capping, bro. She <laughs> obviously that's a, such yeah. a big cap, but he. He fucking slammed it, dude. He drank it so fast. He drank like he. And yeah, she was like, the bo- easiest Joey's way. chestnut style. And she's like, the easiest way Pat is through the straw. And she was like, the easiest way is through the straw. <laughs> Did through the straw. Five minutes later, she's like, does anyone want anything else? Spencer's like, I'll get another one. <laughs> oh, he got, yeah, yeah, he got two. And then he did it again. He got two. He's, and he got it. And he, like, just slammed the shit out of it. Uh, and I was the only one that uh, saw okay. it. I was like. Oh God! I'm not gonna see anything, but I <laughs> fucking hammered. Then he got drunk as fuck, and yeah. he was like really drunk because he doesn't drink. So like three, I call it like three mixed drinks. 
did him pretty good. Yeah, he didn't black out or anything, but damn, he's he's pretty. He was said like, dude. A, yeah. And then we came back to Christian's place, and it was so easy to fucking ice him. Oh my god! Because you you went to like the mini fridge over here. By the it bar. was the most obvious ice ever. So just to lay out my basement, just picture a fucking rectangle, okay? <laughs> We're in one of the corners. The mini fridge is in the other corner with the Smirnoff ices. What I did is I, I grabbed a Smirnoff from the mini fridge, put it in a uh, a fucking camping chair, which is in like the middle of the room, <laughs> you put a jacket over it. I said, hey, Spencer, I sat down. Hey, Spencer, can you go grab me my Powerade from under that jacket? Okay, the, the dude is he pretty He even drunk. questioned it. He was like, wait, he, like, he questioned you. He's like, why would you do it? You're the closest one. You were just up. You're like, Oh, I don't know. I don't want to get back up. And you fucking, like, fucking fine. And he got up and he couldn't find it. You're like, dude, it's literally the camping chair under, like, by the green jacket or under the green jacket. And he was looking under the camping chair. I said, dude, it's under the green jacket. Are you. F okay, actually, he is fucking colorblind. I said, it's under the green jacket, dude. Opens the green jacket, fucking ice him. Oh, you don't get fucking ice. And then he sent the picture, he's like, I don't even know what this means. Yeah. What do yeah. I do? It's like, dude, just get on your knee and chuggy. He's like, Spencer, you kind of fucking ruined the, my first icing <laughs> moment, bro. You're so See, confused that's why by you don't, it. Like, he's the best person to ice, but at the same time, after that, he was the worst person to ice. Because oh he doesn't know shit, and he doesn't know how to fucking chug a drink. He had a fucking sip it. I was like, dude, I, I, I was like, yeah. man, if I fuck, if I ice you, Tommy, it would have been like, I was like, I was, Spencer was like, my, oh yeah, I ice you. And then he's like, uh, uh, what does ice mean? I was like, just, you means you have to tug. He's like, I've never seen that. I was like, it's on social media. Well, I've, well, I've never seen it. I was like, oh my God. Dude. Okay, fine. <laughs> like, just right, drink grandpa, it, dude. Just fucking drink the goddamn drink. It, it, it was a glorious, it was like, wow, that was, that was like, pretty easy. Me I guess and I just Dylan were you. laughing. And then he was just sitting there like, what the fuck do I do? It's like. Are you kid. kidding me? Benzer came out last night. Benzer. Benzer. Ben, we call him, he has an author ego name. And it's called Benzer. I don't, I don't know what the fuck you're doing, but. If you, look, we're probably maybe half an hour into this. If you're listening right now, will you please screenshot this next photo and send it to me and Tommy? Oh. <laughs> uh. Okay. That's gonna be screenshot that. Send it to me and Tommy just so like, or maybe I guess you don't have to, but I would like to know who is listening because we get fucking like maybe fifteen <laughs> views at max. It's fun to do. Okay, it's fun to do. It's, it's just fun time. to it's like. Good time to it's it's fun. fun. I've been enjoying it. It's fun. It it it's been fun to do. We've been going at it for maybe a month now and just kind of like. Yeah. Getting at it Dude, we got this shit, shit like, we started this shit pretty quick, because, like, we talked about it one night, it was, like, a drunk talk, it's, like, one of those things where it's, like, we were both drunk at Truman's house, yeah, and we're, like, we're, like, talking about, I don't even know what nobody it was. else, and they I was, gassed it up, but it didn't, they were a bunch yeah. of gaslighters, and it didn't seem like they were really behind it, I didn't know if you were really behind it, D I was, no, because no, I was, I like, was. me and you were, like, sitting next to each other, and I was sitting there, and, like, we were both drunk, and I, like, we were talking about some, like, Old memories, some high school shit. I was like, dude, a podcast right now would be so fucking good. I know. I was like, I want to start a podcast because like I just started recently getting into podcasts and like listening to them. And I was like, I want to start a podcast. Yeah. Like this would be so much fun. And then that, you're like, dude, fun. I want you. Like, dude, let's do it. I was like, I was like, I, was like, I don't know if you're for real. I was right gassing now. you up, dude, because Tommy was the one that I was like really pushing it. I was like, dude, I. I want to be a part of I want to do this stuff. I want yeah, to be a part of podcast. You're first, like, because you're the only one that, like, really was, like, responding. Everyone was, like, was yeah. like oh, yeah, it would be dope, and everything. I was like, all right, well, my vision is, like, two people. <laughs> Another, yeah! No, I think people do actually really like it now, though. Like, well, Truman enjoyed it. I know Truman yeah. did. I know Dylan did. I know Alyssa has. The people even invite out, they really kind of enjoyed they it. They enjoyed so. it. But my thing was, like, my vision was like trying to be like two people and then having like a guest here and there, everything like that. And that's what I was saying. Yeah. And you're like, yeah, dude, I can be like the editor, the, the video, the dude that's videoing it. I was like, 
no, you're the only one that actually cares. <laughs> I'll have you on it with me all the time. But we're not going to do it because it's just at my house. I really, like, genuinely... You, me and him were, me and were the only ones that were, like... It's kind of fun. Actually, like... It's a lot of fun. That. Yeah. But, yeah, it's enjoyable. We've been... It's been a lot of fun. <laughs> we've been fucking talking about buying... So, so we have this... As you can tell, this interface. We have this thing where you plug your mic into and you plug your headphones into... And we're like, oh my gosh, we gotta buy one with more than four. So, well, not gonna, more if than you four. wanna help us out, not I mean, more than four. Uh, I would say f- at least four. We need four is good. We just need more. So, if you're if you're watching on, I guess the only place to watch it is YouTube and listen. But if you're watching this, you know it's like a, a it's a lot of back and forth <laughs> where we're talking because we only have one mic. And we only so, have one spot for the mic, so we just need to so get another. So we mic. have multiple mics, but we don't have a. What's well, called an interface to have four mics. It's only it's only letting us use one. Yeah, the interface only has one mic input and output. Um, can I shift gears a little bit? This might be like a big old one eighty, but I just gotta say that um, I'm ready for this shit. I the don't Denver know. Broncos are ready to make a big run in the playoffs, oh, dude. dude. We decide Russell Wilson. Okay, can I say this? We got fucking Russell Wilson, Jerry. Corlin Sutton, Tim Patrick, Albert O, and a above average O line. It's not the best, but it's above average. A really good defense. I mean, we're not. You we're not, really we're not gonna take less than second place in the AFC West. We're gonna have to compete for first no. to get a, a obviously. You guys are. You guys are looking pretty good. We're and looking you guys, pretty good. We you got guys. Russell Wilson <laughs> at the helm, dude. I was that, banking that, on Teddy or fucking Drew Lock this next year. No. I was scared out of my mind. I was like, okay, fuck. I hope Drew Lock has figured it out. And I hope Teddy, you know, takes some risks. Teddy's a good quarterback because he doesn't take risks. But to be honest, you know, what watching you him for 17 he's, games, he doesn't. He, he didn't throw good, that many interceptions, but he would. He couldn't stay healthy. That was he, a problem. He was, I mean, I guess. I mean, he fucking do blow out his, like, the... What, he blew it his ACL in Minnesota? Well, before that, he was always out for like half a game and a game and a half and shit like that. Because he it probably thumb, started, thumb. Dude, It probably started. Have you seen that hit when he got hit in like a bowl game at Louisville when he was a quarterback for Louisville? Uh, he got absolutely clobbered by some some uh, Georgia D-line player. <laughs> his injuries must have started there because it, yeah. it was a brain injury. And some of those Everything people else, just, dude, is just mental. It's yeah. got to be. Some of those people just don't. Like can can't get after you can't get around the injury bug and can't get away from it. But but besides the injury bug, when are we gonna accept that Mac Jones is a bust? Fuck off. Fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm joking. Okay. Fucking Patriots fan over you here. You were right. I, I right support Drew Bill, Locke. I support the Patriots. I don't want hate over anything but you fucking were, Okay. You were dick riding Drew Locke, which he was I like Mac Jones. Bust. I was joking, brother. But your Broncos are gonna be pretty scary now. Oh! With Russell Wilson, baby. You have you have a strong defense. Oh, you have a strong team around the quarterbacks. Oh, but it was just the quarterback problem. That's what we were missing, dude. Yeah. And now you have. I'm not saying we're gonna win it all because that's. It Russell seems like Wilson. Everybody's building a suit. If you're look, this is this is what I'm envisioning in the NFL. You're good. You're really good. You're bad. You're really bad. There's no black and white. there. There's no gray. It's you're either black or you're white. You're either amazing, you got a super team, or you're the fucking Jacksonville Jaguars, you know, you're clown town. <laughs> okay? You're clown town in Jacksonville, dude. Yeah, and they were they were fucking banking on a lot with Can we get some T's and P's at my boy Trevor Lawrence, okay? Get he, my boy out of Jacksonville. Let's get some T's yes, and P's, okay? He was moment of silence. Moment of silence for Trevor Lawrence, okay? This moment of silence, <laughs> dude. He is so screwed there. Yeah, he is so screwed, dude. I was thinking he was gonna be like the next franchise quarterback, <laughs> but you can't when it's uh, just you. Yeah. Like, there's talented players in the NFL. It is just, it's him. just him. It seems that, like it's that's just a him. bad place to be. I mean, you were you were coached under fucking. Uh, 
I fing- finger pistols Urban Meyer, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking finger pistoling and sniffing his own. Oh, jeez. His own sausages after, like, minors. A little weirdo, but... Yeah, he he's... That, a, that was a rough rookie year, dude. I Hopefully, after his rookie contract, he's smart enough to get the fuck out of here. Even if it's not oh. as if it... Like, he gets less money. It's Florida, He gets baby. the fuck out of here. Okay, you're drafted to the NFL. What team, you know, you, you like the Patriots. Okay, let's accept that. But what team would you be like, oh, my God, this is this is amazing. Okay? The city if is I'm, perfect for me. The team is perfect for me. I'm playing – I'm in a great role right here. And I'm, I'm the first pick. Like, I guarantee pretty much the first pick. Like You, you pick whatever team. No draft involved. You just pick whatever. It's almost like you're a free agent. Um, but you, you have, like, full reign of who you want oh, to go shoot. to. Oh, shoot. What suits you best? Thomas would, Morgan. I would say... Thomas Edward Morgan. Dude, that's kind of... Oh, wow. I don't know. Because do I get to pick my position? Or do I have to be quarterback? No, oh, you can pick whatever you... You can pick whatever you want. You can pick, I'm just saying, what team? It ain't that complicated, my homie. Well, I would pick the Patriots because if I'm a quarterback and I'm a Patriots... No, no, no. no. What? I, okay, so you want to play for the Patriots? If I'm a quarterback and I'm a Patriot... Like, okay, sorry. If I'm a quarterback and I'm in whatever point of the draft, I would so, hope that the Patriots would pick me because I know that's a winning team. And Belichick has... You will play for a good, grumpy leprechaun. I don't give a fuck if he's grumpy or not. He's a good coach. He's going to give me a winning record. And... He's gonna teach me how to be a great quarterback, or I can okay. be, is it go or I can go to Tampa Bay. Uh, Tampa, okay. I go Tampa because you know Tom Brady's still gonna be involved with it. Dude, he fucking retired. He's I thought, but he's still gonna be involved with the team. Like he's gonna be that still- bro was in England watching Cristiano Ronaldo score hat tricks against Tottenham, bro. <laughs> he ain't involved in the NFL no more. I don't give a fuck. He's still going to be around. I can guarantee he'll still be around. You don't think he's not going to visit the teams that he's played for? He's not going to be out to silent call on plays? He's no. not going to be running practices? No, but I'd be like, hey, I'm playing for the Patriots. Can you give me some tips? Belichick will give me his number. If I'm a quarterback. Or, <laughs> Dude, Bel- I don't know. Or I- Tampa Bay. What's the, fuck- what's the head coach's name? Bruce Arians. Yeah. He he's not a bad coach. He seems like an asshole. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> They're all assholes. But you know who I'd want to play for? Mike McDaniel's. Have you seen that legend of an interview? Yeah, I. I oh would my god, the that. new Dolphins coach is a freaking yeah. legend. Yeah. I I love that guy. He's such a goofball. I would enjoy being on the Dolphins just because he's so Miami. Goofy. Miami. I, I don't. If I I don't know if I had to pick anything other than the Patriots. Ooh, that's. I don't want to go anywhere in L.A. Because I fucking <laughs> hate L.A. Uh, Washington, no. D.C. or the state? State and D.C. Fuck them both. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Florida would be a lot of fun. Just because there's a lot of life. You can, like, nightlife. I mean, there's a lot of things we could do. But damn, the Dolphins suck. And so do the Jaguars. They okay, both so suck. you got New York, you Vegas, got Vegas, Vegas, no, Denver, fuck Vegas. Kansas Vegas City. is too much. Kansas City, I hate the Chiefs. I hate it too, though, dude. Dude, this is hard. New York would be too much for me to live in. But if I had to pick, I'd probably go somewhere in Texas. Uh, the South. Texas wouldn't be a bad place. Denver wouldn't be bad. Um, and probably Florida. Somewhere in Florida. You know they suck. Okay, so Jacksonville, Miami. I would definitely do Miami over Jacksonville. That's basically the capital. But Miami's bad. Hey, can I give you a pop quiz real quick? I'm gonna fuck fail this. I don't What's know. the capital of Ohio? Oh, shit. Bro! Is it? It's not. Oh no! What? Is, what's the capital of Ohio, bro? Is this? <laughs> I don't Tell know. Me. I don't know capitals. It's not Cincy. Oh my or god! No, it? it's not Cincinnati, bro. I don't. 
Oh my god! Okay, now I'm gonna feel like such an idiot when you tell me too. It's Columbus. Fuck! <laughs> oh my god! What did you? What did you get on your ACT? I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I think I you do know. though. I think you do. You don't uh, want to say it. I think yeah. I may, maybe, maybe at the most got a twenty-one. I took it three times. I took it once. Uh -huh. And I showed up late. Oh. Forgot my fucking calculator. And I got an 18. I think. <laughs> dude, this sounds like you, dude. Show up late. No calculator. Fucking pull up an 18. With dude, me. I, because the thing is, is like, I thought when my teacher I said that the late. ACT starts at 8. So I was like, okay. I got there at like 7.50. No. They started at 7.30. I was like, fuck, are you kidding me? Oh, my God, dude. Have you seen the punishments for fantasy football when you lose? And it's like, oh, you got to, um, you know, go to the IHOP and stay there for 24 hours. Or you got to dress up, you know, as a, as a chicken or whatever. Have you seen the one where they have to go retake the ACT or SAT? Uh, no. Intoxicated or high? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I saw a tweet the other day of this guy who was saying, like, he was so paranoid because he's like, oh, my God, I'm in a room full of 16, 17-year-olds. I'm like a 25-year-old man, and I'll fucking take the ACT. Oh, by the way, I'm on cloud nine, dude. <laughs> I'm so fucking baked out of my mind, and I'm taking the ACT. We got to do that next year to be, bring an, an incentive. For fantasy? Dude, because yes. I... Like, I try and bring the incentive of, okay, if you win, you, you win all the money, but nobody ever pays, so it's like, fuck, well... We all need to do a punishment for the loser. I would love both, but if I anything, a punishment, for sure. Because then that, that keeps everybody interested. Because, you know, if it's only about the money and being first place, you know, the last couple people are going to just not try, you know? Yeah. So if you have a punishment involved, you don't, you're striving not to take last. You are yeah. striving, you're saying... Okay. Who is, who is, but... Fuck, I better not take last year or I'm going to fucking get a tattoo, going to have to take the ACT, uh, going to get embarrassed, whatever it is, you know, you got to... Who was the one last? that took last this year? Was it Ethan or was it Spencer? Uh, it was probably Ethan. Ethan's team sucked. Yeah, his team was very strange. And he, when he first started, like when he first he drafted... He was a weird fan this year, in my opinion. With, 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 at least wider, with running backs especially. Running backs and a little bit of wide receivers. Yeah. Ethan Tyler thought he was going to fucking run the league because he was like, dude, my team is the best. He was talking all this shit. And he, In <laughs> turn, and being the you had the worst. best And then team I had ever. the best team. Each position I had a number one or two player. Lost. You, dude, fantasy? Okay, but this I got is the fuck thing fucked about. because my mm -hmm. last, the last week. That's the thing about fantasy is if... If you have a way good team, the odds are is that your best players are on a really good team. So you know what they're going to do? They're going to sit out the last week and they're not going to play. So you get absolutely fucked in fantasy. I would love to switch to something where it's just like total points or... Yeah, I, I, I think total points would be yeah, really good. I, I also see this weird little, little quirk where you try and pick the worst kicker, you know? Who gets the... Whoever, you know, the kicker who does the worst actually in turn get you the most points you know so it's tough because you got to pick someone who play you know a kicker who starts but they got to be the worst you know oh, what the so fuck? It, it's a little different it's kind of cool where like you don't pick the best But to get off, I guess to get off fantasy football, you should probably switch from that. What do we got here? What do we got today? What I mean, this is what we took a shot out of. Uh, McAfee's benchmark. <laughs> it was fucking cheap. It was $10. <laughs> so, fuck you. I'm not buying no fucking Jim Beam or Crown Royal at this point. I'll buy fucking Dude, anything Crown that's Royal. above 40% alcohol. Yeah, that's true. But if it's Besides peach, peach. Roll, yeah. 
I've never tried it, but I've heard a lot. If of you got to punch the peach crown raw, I would love to try some of that because I've never indulged in that delicacy. <laughs> but uh, we have a nominee. I'm for the, a nice little poll. I'm the nominee. Or you... so. Tell me what you about to do, brother. Tell me what you about to do. Don't be shy. I'm not shy. It just sucks because this is like what I'm known for in my in our friend group. Is just taking fucking pulls of the bottle. Hey, if anybody wants to challenge him, well. I openly welcome it. No. <laughs> no. I openly <laughs> welcome a challenge to this guy. I've seen him pull. I've seen him out pull. Okay. <laughs> I've seen him in a competition pull. Who about don't this much? I've killed in one pull. Am I going to do it now? No. Maybe? No. <laughs> Fuck. No. Okay, that would be brutal. Let's see it. If you're listening, you know, you're not watching, please turn back. Okay? Show them what you're about to do. Okay. Wait, let me let me let me see. Measure it. Oh! I don't know how much. So it's about uh, about between the E and the B, I would say. I don't know how much I want to do. Just fucking go, bro. Alright. Um Whenever you're ready, we're waiting. Bottoms up. Waiting for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait on my nose. Wait on my nose. Oh, my God. That was so shit. <laughs> Dude, I think the worst pull has got to be a whiskey. Dude, no fucking of, shit. Speaking of pulls, we might have brought this up in the in, in earlier episodes. But you and Paul in that in that chug off, what were you guys drinking again? Was it uh, Crown? Oh my god! I didn't do much. Um, yeah, give me a fucking bitch beer. I didn't do much. That's all we got. Uh, fuck, dude, that was probably one of the worst ones. It went up my nose. It's like it didn't go like <laughs> up my nose, but it was like I felt it. <laughs> fucking nostrils. It was burning. And you plug your nose when you jump in the pool, like you do a high dive. You jump. You plug your nose. No. Good. Ain't no bitch. <laughs> hey, that, that's the end of that topic. <laughs> I was like, okay, you you better not plug your nose. You jump in the pool. Yeah. But you were asking uh, what video about? Oh, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. So there's like this big thing going on on, on social media, at least Twitter. Like I've seen it in my trending. E girls or? Oh wait, no, 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 no. You're talking about the poll video. We were pulling. We were doing a poll off. Oh yeah. What were you and Q drinking? Well, it was not. It was not me and him going back to back. It was. <laughs> it was. It is a. Train, it was a, a Hall- We were at a Halloween party, and our friend we had a bottle of Hennessy. I don't even know if it was a trend, but our friend brought a bottle of Hennessy. Excuse me, and fat ass fucking chewing on some chips. You can't hear. But he was a. Uh, he was like, "Do this. Everyone get in a line and do the Henny line." So we got a bottle of Hennessy. Everyone's taking like little sips. They're just like, nothing much, nothing crazy. And then Q was like the fourth person in the line, and he took a big pull. It was like 10, 10 seconds, I would say. Oh, no way. No, 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 no. Or shorter, 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 shorter. Okay. It was not 10 seconds. He did a big pull, but it was not 10 seconds. Okay. I was over exaggerating. Maybe let, like six, seven of seven, like seven, big goals. Seven, it was seven. like big goals. And then I saw him and I was like, okay, this this dude, this fucking ferret dude, who is like, doesn't really drink that much anymore, who like barely drinks and all this, like, that wasn't going to get drunk or anything. And he like kind of went, like, the Hennessy line went through a bunch of people. I was like, one of the last people. And. That is distracting, you fucker. Stop chewing. <laughs> Fucking Christian's chewing on some chips. I'm chewing it far away from mine. But, uh, it got to me. I, like, the first thing that went through my head was, when he did it, was, like, I'm not gonna let this fucking asshole out. <gasps> Bad me. decision. Out pull me, dude. Bad decision. I'm gonna keep my title in the friend group of <laughs> who takes the biggest polls out of a bottle. <laughs> 
bad decision. Like Christian said, very bad decision. Because I ended up fucking drinking, I don't know, what was, it was like half a bottle. It was, it was, oh my, I mean, maybe a third, I wouldn't say. Okay, uh, I don't know, you it was a quarter, it was a quarter. A quarter, a quarter to a third. I was, I took at least 10 seconds of just big mouthfuls. Big mouthfuls. You were gulping, you were, I, I can stand that you were yeah. gulping. And it, at least it was at least 10 seconds, so it was a little bit longer, but it was, dude, when I was doing it, I mm. felt so fucking long. And I was sitting there, chilling. I was like, dude, I'll be fine. I'll be fine the whole time. Uh, and then, last thing I knew was me saying, I'm going to be fine. And then I was awake. I woke up on the couch. You know what I remember? Don't remember fucking you thing. You learned this Besides, like, I was, like, in words. and out of certain things. I was in and out. I remember I, like, came in for a second. I was dancing with a girl. And then that was it. So fucked up that opportunity. <laughs> yeah, I was really fucked it up but yeah that was that was the most recent time you were actually messed up yeah i haven't that was the last time i like got really drunk do you know what you know what besides halloween because i know halloween you were like down bad you weren't this down bad this night but the first time you went to the liquor store went to q's you brought over Bacardi pineapple, I believe. Oh, and yeah. Alyssa was making I was a TikTok. Down bad, but t- yeah, Alyssa was. Alyssa was making <laughs> a TikTok. Okay, so this is the thing. It was the uh, you know, it was like the people in the place. Everybody <laughs> get down. Yeah, and and it was like a it different was like different scenes. I I was in one of the scenes. You know, I was taking a puff. Isaiah was taking a puff. Q was reading his Bible. Tommy was taking a drink out of this Bacardi okay, pineapple. Okay, well, at first started I'm like Tommy. Take a drink. Just like take a take a sip out of it. You don't even have to drink it. I was like, I'm not no bitch. I'm gonna fucking do the real thing. I'm not gonna half ass it. So I took like a little sip. Well, actually, no. The first time, I took a like couple big sips, and then because you thought I was the only one. Yeah, and then five minutes later, she comes back. <laughs> she comes She's back. Like, I don't know what happened, but I <laughs> fucked it up. Like, Fuck! Are you kidding me? She's Here like, she I gotta comes. retake it. I was like, okay. Took it again. I thought it was going to be the last one. No. So I didn't take a couple big gulps. I took one big gulp. Think again. And then it happened like four fucking times. She came back and she was like, I fucked it up. I got to retake it. I was like, oh, oh my I God, like woman. I f- ended up finishing <laughs> the bottle. Like because he, he she, wasn't blacked out, but he was so damn close. I was dude. so he drunk. was slurring. He was starting to slur. He was getting get so <laughs> talkative, dude. Dude, I was, I could, I was so fucking drunk, and she kept on coming back. And I was like, dude, I, I, I can't. Like, <gasps> the group coming back. <laughs> He's in I, my dream, my nightmare. Yeah, dude. I am um, that night. That was probably the last time I got. Fucking hammered. And I haven't really... Like, I've gotten maybe tipsy three or four times since. Yeah. But I haven't really... Last time I was hammered was at Truman's. Do you remember? We talked about this on the pod where yeah, I... Yeah, I think that was one of the I, times I got tipsy. I did throw up a bit. But that was last oh, time I was like... Oh, I got drunk. actually... I got, I got pretty drunk. Now. You were pretty... Well, it but was, it wasn't it like was crazy pain, drunk. But yeah, it was, it was a but That was last time I got fucked up. Yeah. But I... Dude, my tolerance is so high, it's hard for me to, like... Because I only really drink beer, and that's hard for me to get drunk. It, it, it's weird going from beer Unless to, like, Unless I'm, a hard like, alcohol. drinking straight hard alcohol. And that's... I hate shots. And that's why I just take fucking pulls. Uh, Where's some Tommy? Which is a <laughs> shot plus more, depending it's on how like, long it's, you want to It's go. like ten shots in one. <laughs> it's wonder. ten shots at one time, and it's great. Get it all done, you know? Don't gotta worry about it. But you're gonna say something about e girls you were mentioning? <laughs> oh yeah, bro, my my uh Oh yeah, fuck, so I'm sorry. So there's a there's this trend and it, it's been trending on Twitter a bit. Have you heard of like like what do you prefer? E e girls or I ladies? No. Really? Not. It, 
How do you not see? Are you like on a different TikTok and a Twitter than me? Like, yeah, I could be. I, I'm not really. I don't go like on e girls or i ladies. You don't know the difference. I know what e girls are. I don't know what i ladies are. Are i ladies? I ladies, and that's across your face, bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. How? I'm sorry. How? Fuck off! Nah! I, I just laid these nuts across your face. I set you up so hard. Bro! You wanted to know what I was talking about so badly the entire podcast. You kept bringing it up and it just kept, kept, it just kept changing. And finally I got to it. Damn. Did you get that off of a could code no Oh! I fucking heard it too. I heard it too. Yes, sir. That's one of the podcasts I listened to, and I heard it. I fucking heard it. Well, fuck. I'm sorry to be a copycat, but fuck yeah, I ain't that original. That shit was so good. I ladies, dude. That's the new Wendy's nuts cross your face. Damn it, dude. That was so good. Well, shit. I I don't know. I think we're past the hour, aren't we? God, you're such an asshole. That That's the first time I've ever gotten a hit with that shit. That was great. And for that, another poll while we sign off. This is our first video uh, YouTube episode. Of, so if somehow you're not watching and you didn't notice the difference, maybe give it a, a, a watch. I mean, there's not really much we did different except a, a few weird facials here and there. You did a, a bunch of facials and I just laughed at it. Maybe it's more entertaining. It's, it's probably not, but uh, we're evolving. We're just trying to learn this shit, and we're we're making things better. Get into it. So, Tommy will sign us off with a small little baby shot or a baby pull. He did say he loves shots more than pulls. So, fuck Tommy, off. Take it away. <laughs> to episode four, the first time we've had a video on a podcast, and we'll see you guys next week.